Hello everyone, my name is Bab and welcome to Pokalosophy. Pokalosophy is my YouTube channel where I attempt to take apart the game of Pokemon as an introspective tool. I hope to analyze micro narratives, motifs, symbolism, any of those things to help us introspect and grow as individuals. I think there's a lot of great things that we can unpack and uncover from the game of Pokemon that we can apply back to our own lives. So, I am on, I forgot what, what, which route this was. Oh. Let's go back to, I forgot the name of this route. I do apologize. I'm on route nine, I'm route nine. I tried to go to the next city, but I ran into that Snorlax. I kind of forgot about that from my youth. So I'm just uh, on route nine exploring and have a full on roster. As you can see, roster is doing quite well. And uh, yeah, let's just keep on going with this game. But before we get started, this is where I last left off, but I, I do want to start with a quote, as I usually do with my videos. I lost the quote and I was not set up correctly. I do apologize for that. Usually I'm, I'm set up pretty well for this, but let's start with the quote. The quote is from, for episode 19, it's from a Stoic philosopher named Epictetus. Uh, if I think of three Stoic philosophers, it's, Epic, it's Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius and Seneca. Those are the three in my head. There's there's a few more that are actually quite noteworthy, but those are the three that ring the most true to me on what Stoicism is about. Epictetus has a very interesting, or went through an interesting set of circumstances and lived a really interesting life as a former slave. And I think that like something that we can all relate to because I think modern consumerism and society today makes us feel like we're kind of like drones in a system. And this person had to live with that and kind of overcome that. And that's why I think Stoicism, especially from Epictetus's angle and perspective, provides a lot of insights to our lives in modern life. So let's start with his quote today. It is, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. I'm slowly on board with this mindset. I think it's really... I'm, I'm beginning to really realize, I mean, I'm just trying to like say this in a very simple way, but I'm beginning to realize that like your blissful state or your sense of happiness or fulfillment, it's actually a conscious choice that we can make, but it just takes a lot of work for us to get there. Uh, I think a lot of us have interesting types of upbringing or lived experiences that make it hard for us to experience that. And that's that's hard to tell someone that's been through a lot and says hey you could just choose to be happy because if you told me that 10 years ago I, w I wouldn't believe you but i i'm taking that path as a conscious choice and like yeah whatever happens to me happens to me but how i react and think is the most important thing because that actually governs your next actions in life and i kind of use this um i faced a training with a beedrill in the last episode and I just felt it was like kind of perfect in that a bee-ish kind of bug or wasp is trying to sting you. But if you practice stoicism, you're almost like a stone. You know, the, the, the bug can't really hurt you. And I think that's like what life, and this is the, the, the only, also this is the only image of bee drill that I found that was actually quite suitable for a generation one game. But I actually find it to be quite a fitting symbol of life in that yeah things are going to happen to you but if you're mentally prepared you can be more stone-like in navigating life and those things won't get you as much so but it's just a lot of micro practice you have to take which is why i'm very comfortable just playing the game as as is and just reacting without knowing because i used to look up so here's why i'm doing poke philosophy the way i'm doing it I used to not, like I used to study the guidebook and study each map. So I plan everything with hyper control and precision. Great, sometimes you need to do that in life. And I totally understand that. But part of life is being open to surprise. And a lot of people with a lot of negative experiences don't like surprises. I'm definitely one of those individuals. So I'm trying to like practice that in microwaves. And one of the best ways is just like, let's just play the game without figuring anything out and see what happens. And that can go, that can build an incredible resilience in your life that I'm, I'm already actually starting to see in my own life as I play the game of Apocalypse this way. 
Get a trainer. Let's just see how this trainer goes. Or my, go, my super bug Pokemon. I'm also trying to react more in a fun way. So uh, if I've seen a little more exuberant today, you'll understand why. I'm just trying to force myself to think more strategically. Um, or more authentically, I should say. Sorry. Caterpie. Level 20 Caterpie. My goodness. It's kind of overkill, isn't it? This is dig. Nah, you missed. Take that! Ha! <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have a decent defense with my giant mushroom, as you know. Let's let's have no. Let's finish this one off. Let's just cut. Slash. Boom. Done. Two hundred and twenty-six points. Great. I'm about to use Weedle on. Yes. Let's change it to Charmeleon. We haven't used it in a while. Go Charmeleon. Ember. That should be over soon. Done. Very good. Love fire against uh, bug and grass Pokemon. Nice, easy little win there. Nice. 26. That's funny. I just had a comment from a YouTuber just talking about this uh, this morning. That's crazy. The, the, what a surprise. That's actually really, really awesome. Uh, let's change it to... Let's do Gloom. Let's do Gloom. I actually want to try Acid. Oh, I forgot how this thing looked like. It's so weird. Acid. Yeah. Take that. Ooh. Cl oh. I hate it when that happens. Though. <laughs> but it's all good. We just had, you know, fall again, like Epithetic says, right? Like, whatever happens to you, happens to you. But how you react is, is what matters. It's reacting in a nice, positive way. We'll just use Absorb and we'll end this battle. Done. Oh, whoa. Okay, right. It's, it's also a bug. It's a little more resi resistance to that. Done. Okay, good. 321 points. One, two, three. But in reverse. A lot of bug catchers. I wish the original game designers had more resources and money to create better, like, non playable characters. It's like. I don't know, these sprites are kind of funny to me, but should I battle you too? Actually, I didn't talk to you. What did you say at the end? I like bug Pokemon. Hey, I don't want to bite you. How about you? Aren't you a little toughy? <laughs> it's funny because I, I actually walked up to him this time. <laughs> oh, another hiker. Geodude, classic. Parasect. We'll just use Stun Sport. Let's try that. Paralyzed. Well done. Nice. Dick. That's all he can do, dude. All he can do, Geo, dude. Oh, really? <sighs> it's all good. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all, it happens. We'll just use a little cut. It's not effective, but it's good enough. 367 points. A chop. Yes. Let's try Pikachu. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. For those who don't know, I use self destruct for fun in the one of the last Pokemon battles. So, um, for my Gravelers, my Gravelers not active anymore. Oh, kick. Ooh, a little more, a little more challenge here. Okay. Ah, uh, two Michael Punches is okay. About to use Geodude. Yes. We'll just end this one. We'll just use a little Bubble Beam from good old Mighty Gyarados. I think symbolically, I want to release Gyarados at the, after I beat the Elite Four. I think that'd be a nice little gesture for the struggle of, or the, the importance that Gyarados ha uh Played in my roster, I think symbolically be good to let it go and be free. 700 units of some sort of non inflationary currency. 
Okay, let's see what happens here. Let me just save the game. Let's see how what's gonna happen here. Don't do 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 do. Don't you dare con. Oh, I don't mean to condescend you. How? Hey, I don't want to fight. Ah. Oh. Junior trainer wants to fight. Oh, meow. Oh, I haven't seen one. Nice. Slice boar. Oh, scratch. Nice, nice. Let's try leech life. Let's see what happens. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, okay. Let's let's just keep at that. It's, it's kind of a low risk move. I'm not, Nothing to worry about here. It's just, just finding some trainers. I have some strong Pokemon in my arsenal. Nothing to worry about. You know, on this point, it just shows you how mentally resilient you can become to life if you train as best you can in a lot of these circumstances. So in this game, there's a lot of unknowns. I'm recording my vulnerability here, but I kind of don't care because I'm kind of in that state of, hey, I'm having fun. Like You can't take that away from me. That took some training to get that mindset. It wasn't something that developed overnight. I was I was very shy to record anything of me making mistakes on any sort of video, for, even for internal purposes for work. Now I'm doing it publicly and I'm totally fine with it. Again, it's all about mental practice. Okay, nothing there. Made a mistake. No worries. I'm just trying to remember the map best I can. Do, 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 do. There's actually a really interesting video um, that my friend sent me about um, the music theory of like Pokemon during the original game. Uh, I haven't finished it, but it's so far it's been quite good. Okay, wait, hold on, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, I'm a Route 10 now. Okay, okay. That wasn't too bad. I... Okay, let's try here. Is there anything here? Okay. Just, just making sure, because like, again, I don't have like the guides. I'm just trying to like make the most of my situation. Poké Center, perfect. Remember the show that every single one was like a cousin or a relative of of what was the nurse? Nurse Joy? Was that what it was? Don't remember. Oh, let's talk to you. Hello. I sold a useless nugget for 5,000. Oh, that's pretty good. Ghost Haunt Lavender Town. Oh, we're going to Lavender Town. Okay. Right, yes, that I do know. Maybe I should build my own like chart as I make mistakes and learn. Okay, so I can use cut to go there. Just trying to see what's happening here. Right, this is the rock tunnel. Hmm. I don't remember what Pokemon are in here. Maybe she can tell me. Oh, I'm about to bat. Oh, I was hoping she was one of those guides. Uh, okay. Oh, another one of you? Junior Trainer wants to fight. Yeah. Pikachu! Okay! Well, Parasite, you have some experience with the tennis search, so I have no problem with you beating Pikachu here. Nice. Okay, done. Easy peasy. About to use Clefairy. Oh, that's new. Uh, sure. What can we use that's good? I don't know what Clefairy's bad against. Strike Room. If anyone has any thoughts on Clefairy, let me know. Acid. Ooh, not too bad, not too bad. Absorb, let's try that. Not too bad, okay, good. Let's just one more time, I think it'll be over after this. Yeah, perfect. Ooh, Clefairy, 
That would be a good one to have. Maybe I should have that on my roster. I don't know. That was a quick little battle. Okay, let's... Is there a sign? Yeah, it's a sign. Okay, good. Block tunnel. I find it weird that you would want to cut these bushes when you could just go around it and... I don't know. Sometimes I wonder how they design these games for reasons. You know what? I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to... Deposit... Um... Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a different roster for this tunnel. Okay, so let's do the roster. Again, I have no idea what's in this, what's, what I'm going to be. I don't remember this part of the game, so I'm just trying to like mentally prepare myself for this. Fire probably won't be good against rocks. I'll deposit. Deposit. Plants are good. Parasects are hard to the team. Need that. I think I'm going to deposit my Gloom. I don't need a Gloom right now. I'm also going to deposit Pikachu as well. So, so far, I have Parasect, Graveler, and Gyarados. So, Gyarados has water, really strong. I think I'll definitely need that kind of backbone for the Rock Tunnel. Graveler, Rock against Rock, should be fine. Parasect does well, uh, have Dig. And I can use, you know, plants decently against strong if I'm facing a lot of rock Pokemon. Okay, let's withdraw my Raticate because it knows Water Gun. So it's always a good little plot twist, uh, small, small guard, as I kind of call my roster. What else can I bring? Dug Trio. Definitely need a Dug Trio. And I need a little more strength. And I think that's going to come from my Hypno. That's a good lineup. I think this is a good solid lineup in case I face... I don't know if there's ghosts in this rock tunnel. That's totally fine. We'll, we'll, we'll find out right now. And let's figure it out. See? It's right back to that quote Epictetus, right? It's how you react. That's really more important. Oh, right. I needed Flash. Hypno has Flash. This is, this is perfect. I didn't even plan that. I forgot that you have to use Flash. Perfect. Look at this. That worked out perfectly. I didn't even think about Flash. Who should I have as my first kind of Pokemon? Uh, let's go with Parasect. Yeah, Parasect's the heart of the team. He's... Should I use, Re should I use Repel? Or Zubat? Oh, Zubat. I don't miss you. I already have one, so I'm not going to catch it. That's fine. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't have don't even things to say right now. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do here. Okay, there's no items there, so that's good. Wow, there's a lot of Zubats. I may have to use Repel. But what if I see a Pokemon that I don't that I don't have? Yeah, we'll, I'll deal with it. No worries. We'll do one battle, and then we'll just call call it a day for this episode. Let's see what you have. Oh, he looks interesting. A Pokemaniac. That's a great name. <laughs> I am the Pokemaniac. Yes. Cubone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this one. Uh, Dig. I wonder how it does against Dig. Probably pretty good. Growl. Okay. Let's do Stun Spore. Paralyze. Always think defensively as best you can. Bone Club. Probably not that effective, yeah. And then we'll just do... Let's see how Leaf Swipe goes. Because I imagine we'd be facing a few of these in, in this rock tunnel, so I just want to make sure I know the weak spot. So Dig is okay against with that. Uh, while I have... Let's do... I don't remember the type of this Pokemon, so maybe I'll look up the Pokedex later. But let's try... Hypno. Ooh. Okay, let's try Confusion. Oh, Confusion's gonna work. Yeah. Hmm. 
I better be careful not to level up these Pokemon as fast because um, Slowpoke. Because I, I can't exceed 30 from what I understand. So, But I, I, have a, I have a deep roster, so I'm not too worried. I haven't used my Graveler as much. Let's, let's try using it Slowpoke. Good defense, strong, not worried about it. Let's try Rock Throw. Oh, I forgot Slowpoke's part Psychic. That's right. I, it's, I'm starting to recall that. I guess Tackle's not that effective. Confusion's moderately effective. Let's try Rock Throw again. Oh no! By the way, I actually have a sticker of that on my laptop. It hurt itself against Confusion. Might be an interesting philosophy if you think about it. If you're confused, you just hurt yourself. Ah, uh, this is not going well. Let's try Eradicate. Ooh, confusion. Send it. Hyperfang. Done. Game over. Yep. Wow, a lot of money. Let's save the game. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do one more Pokemon bot, um, Pokemon trainer battle. Another do that, of course. They never not get annoying. That's for sure. Oh, the tunnel. Let's do here. Let's check no items here. Oh, I have the item finder. Right. I can use it. Nope. Perfect. Okay, we'll do one more battle. Let's play it. Nah, I'll, I'll be fine. I can always dig and go back to the Poké Center if need be. Bum, bum. Oh, another Pokémaniac. He wants the fight. Okay. Slowpoke. Oh, man. Parasect. Okay, we're going to dig. Dig and hide. Dig and hide. Yep, missed it. Sorry, dude. Well done. Oh, he still got me in the confusion. But that is okay. Cut. Ooh. That's fine. It's kind of ironic, eh? Your stun spore is disabled by disable. It's kind of paralyzed my... Yeah, it's kind of a little meta, but it's all good. Done. Easy peasy. Okay, you know what? I'm going to switch away from Parasect. I don't want it to gain too much, too many experience points. And I'm just going to train up my lowest one, which is Raticate. So let's change it. Perfect. Oh, I said one, only one more, right? Oh, I want to stop. <sighs> we'll stop. Hmm. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It just, it just means more episodes. Anyways, I will see you all later. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you already, if you already haven't. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.